Welcome to Skeg Vegas Wrestling episode 56. I'm your host, your commentator, your ring announcer. If you are watching the live stream, please drop a like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell, select all, it will let you know whenever I go live. If you are watching the show, please type SVW in the live chat after every match so I know who's watching and who isn't. I'm on coming to you alone today, I will check the live chat the best I can. If I do miss anything important, please let me know. Please let me know if the video quality and mic quality is good. We are on the road to Skeg Vegas Wrestling opening day. That is your free to watch monthly pay-per-view for April. That live streams Sunday, April 30th. At 6pm UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. And that will be the first ever WWE 2K23 show. I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this live stream about. With your friends, with your family, to all your social medias. All your followers. Let's try and get as many views as possible. I'm going to check the live chat for the first time now. Welcome Philip Adams, welcome Xavier, and welcome V-Kid, welcome Renee Marie, welcome Regal, welcome Samuel McTavish, welcome Alexis Nova, welcome Raynaud, welcome Duncan Riley, welcome Arosha Ishioka, welcome Red, welcome Sir William Kingdom, welcome Michael Mayer Matthews, welcome Jackson Eyre, welcome Adrian Lachey, welcome Jackson Bates. Welcome Fox Winters, welcome Brody Reeves. The show will begin on the hour, so in three minutes time. There doesn't seem to be a lot of viewers today. Please share this live stream about. To your friends, to your family, to all your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and get some more views in here. I'm not bad, thanks, Jackson Air. What about you? I hope to put on an entertaining show for all of you. Welcome, King Kuron. Let's get the live stream to 16 likes to start off, please. Disappointed says Samuel McTavish. The reason for low viewership is because I am not booked, says Sir William Kingdom. I don't care about Revolution and Tommy, says Red. Is the mic quality and video quality good? We will begin on the hour, so in two minutes time. I'm just double checking that I've shared it to all the places I need to share it. I believe I have. Welcome Abram. Let's get into the show. Episode 56. We're going to kick off with No Limits Division action. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. I want to see you want to win. In the live chat, it is going to be Brody Reeves versus Freddy Fox. I wonder if the under spirit of Skeg Vegas Wrestling No Limits Champion Al Walker's got eyes on this match. Fox on in season says Brody Reeves. This should be a good way to open up this show. Let's get into it. The following 
is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling opening contest and is a one on one match in the No Limits division. Making his way to the ring first, Brody Reeves. Our Walker does have eyes on this match and he will be wise to have eyes on this match. He's already defeated Brody Reeves. Brody Reeves has got a record of 10 wins, 9 losses on this brand. His most recent match was against Matt Def. He did lose that match, but he had a good showing in that match. Still calls himself the man to beat the best because he beat the quest for the best Battle Royale, Royale winner, Flynn Knight. Welcome Victor Wolf. Welcome Vincent Payne. Welcome the corporation. Let's get the live stream to 18 likes if we haven't already. And I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this live stream about to your friends, to your family, to all your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and get some more views on this show. If you haven't already please subscribe drop a like click the bell so let's all it will let you know whenever i go live and his opponent from the netherlands freddy fox freddy fox has got a record of nine wins and five losses at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He is coming off a big pay-per-view win over Philip Adams. And he's been winning this entire month. Can he get another win here against Brody Reeves? Defeated the likes of Flynn Knight. Johnny Diablo. Arosha Ishioka once upon a time. Looking to get another win here. Looking to get into double digits. And get his, get his 10th win at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Welcome Ice Cold. No Limits represents Orko and I flying wrestling. We can't see any Orko because they will be disqualified, but we might see some I flying in this opening match. Freddy Fox taking his time, making Brody Reeves wait on the outside. You see that score on Brody Reeves' face that came at the hands of Al Walker. The bell rings, and off we go. Punch to start off by Freddy. Chop, chop again. Punch, punch again. Punch, chop. Forearm caught by Brody Reeves. Punch, kick, punch into the powerbomb by Brody Reeves. Great start to this match. Pulls him to his feet. Irish whipped into the corner. Brody Reeves gets countered. And what is Freddy Fox looking for? The pilly kick! Out of the corner into the pin. One. Kick out by Brody Reeves. Brody back to his feet. Freddy striking away at Brody right now. Slapped to the face. Stunned in the corner. Forearm. And another pilly kick going up by Freddy Fox. Into the pin again. One. Kick out by Brody Reeves. Well, start to this match. Brody back to his feet. Grabs Freddy. Knee. Kick. Elbow. Stomps him into the mat. Into the double knees. The running Meteora. Grabs him by the head. Got Buster by Brody. Stomp. 
Swears at the fans, does Brody Rees into the pin. That isn't going to be enough. And a kick out, and not even won by Freddie Fox. Grabs him by the head. Looking for another gobble star. Pulls him to his feet again. Went for the kick to the gut. Counter by Freddy. Punches in the clinch. And a double super kick by Freddy Fox into the pin. One, two, kick out at two and off by Brody Reeves. Went to grab the arm. Reeves fights through with the punches to the gut. Punch. Second punch. Chop. Kick. And a jumping axe kick to the top rope. Goes Brody Reeves looking to fly. Lining up his shot. Oh, what a drop kick. Might have hurt himself. Pulls Fox to his feet. Money just to fight free reverse DDT. Knee. Keeping him grounded now. Telling the fans to shush into the net breaker. Brody clutching at his neck, his head. Freddy Fox stomping him into the mat with a brutal assault. And a forearm. I'm not sure, but I think Brody's bleeding. Kicked by Brody. Doesn't want to be doing that. Double super kick. Again by Freddy Fox into the pin. One. Kick out by Brody again. Brody showing how resilient he is. Freddy Fox going after the back now. Back elbow fights free. Kick to the goal. Headlock. Driver. Should go for the pin. Look at the blood coming out of Brody's head. I'm not sure where he's bleeding from. Stumps to the hands. Into the pin. Is that an off? Kick out at two and off by Freddie Fox. Pulls Freddie Fox to his feet. Looking for the guillotine. The guillotine truck. It is cinched in, it is locked in deep. Freddy Fox is going to have to tap or pass out. He is risking injury here, but he seems to be hanging in there. And he manages to escape, turning it into a spine buster. Oh, right to the eyes by Freddy Fox. But Brody's up, surely he can't see though. He went for a springboard, but he got caught. Into a blue thunder bomb. But Brody keeps getting back up. We know how resilient Brody Reeves is. Diddy T by Freddie Fox. Got the hand. Snapping the fingers. Now working on the arm. Showing his technical prowess. Is Freddie Fox the Dutchman? Super kick into the own track. German suplex into the bridge. One kick out by Brody. Looking for the Kamagoi. Knee to the hand or to the arm of Brody. Brody trying to get back to his feet. Irish whipped. Bumped into each other. Punch. Chop. Kick. Axe kick. Again by Brody. Lovely combination. Springboard moves on. Missed by Brody Reeves. He might have blood in his eye. But he's recovered well. And fires a warning shot to Freddy Fox. Right to the eyes. Oh, blow. Referee. That should be a disqualification. And Brody Reeves saying no, like he's paid the ref or something. Or the referee allowing this match to go on. And Freddie Fox is busted open now as well.
Grabs him again. Super kick into the arm. Trap German suplex into the bridge. Rock break. Luckily for Brody Reeves. Both of these men are tired. Both of these men are hurting right to the eyes again by Freddy Fox. Into the leverage pin. One. Two. Kick out at two and off by Brody. Into the airlock driver again. Into the pin. Is that it? He should put his hand out and get the raw break. Kick out at two and off. Brody Reeves cannot believe it. And Brody Reeves to the corner, looking to win this match with the punk kick. He needs to go for the pin. A huge win for Brody Reeves here. He needs it into the pin. Is that it? It has got to be it. Kick out at two and three quarts by Freddie Fox. How did he kick out of that devastating punk kick? Brody to the middle rope. Looking to fly. Freddy's up. Freddy Irish whips him to the outside. Running knee by Freddy Fox. But Brody is back up. Takes out the leg. Pulls him back to his feet again. Forearm by Freddy. Gotta be careful not to get counted out these two. DDT on the ramp. Four on my Freddy. Knee to the arm. Kick to the back. What is Freddy doing? He said he was going to beat Brody by a count out. Throws him up the ramp. What is Freddy Fox looking for? The golden driver on the ramp. That's our Walker's finishing maneuver. Freddy Fox back in the ring. He's going to win this by count out. He's going to win this by count out. And that is it. Freddy Fox has won by count out. I'm going to check the light, check the best I can. And the winner of this match by Count Out, Freddy Four. Big win for Freddie Fox. Good way to open up this show. Welcome, Lauren Love. One man of my words says Freddie Fox. Welcome, Freddie Fox. The coward way out. Well done, says Brody Reeves. Get a live stream to 19 likes if we haven't already. Let's get into the next match. It's going to be Samuel McTavish versus Abram. Samuel McTavish has only lost once at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And that was to, un to the undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling King of Vegas Champion, V-Kid. He has got a record of four wins and one loss. He's going against a former No Limits Champion in Abram. Abram is 4-8 on this brand. King of Vegas Division action. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. And I want to see you want to win. In the live chat, I wonder if the Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling King of Vegas Champion V Kids got eyes on this match. Indeed, he has. Welcome, Zay Jordan. So, Cameron Miller put out a challenge to Samuel McTavish and Jackson Bates 
for a tag team match or opening day. Jackson Bates has accepted, but Samuel McTavish has been quiet. We know McTavish and Bates have had their issues as of late with McTavish attacking Bates after the matches where Bates have won. But let's get into this match. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the King of Vegas division. Welcome Damien Sniper. Making his way to the ring first, Samuel McTavish. Samuel McTavish is coming off a pay-per-view win over Orochi Ishioka. This man is on a four-match winning run. Is that going to continue here? It's the complete opposite for Abraham. He's on a losing streak currently. What a way for him to break that losing streak if he can defeat Samuel McTavish here, giving him only his second loss at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. This man calls himself the Reaper Maniac. He's from Scotland. He's about six foot three. Close to 300 pounds. He is an absolute beast. Let's see if he can pick up a fifth win here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And it could be, honestly, the biggest win of his career so far, defeating a former No Limits champion in Abram. And his opponent, Abram! Abraham is a former Skeg Vegas Wrestling No Limits Champion. That seems like a lifetime ago for this man. He is on quite the losing run. He's desperate for a win. If you're not going to use that chair, I will, says Samuel McTavish. But what a huge win this will be for Abraham if he can get it over McTavish. It's going to be tough. Abraham's got to be low on confidence right now. And Samuel McTavish, he's high on confidence. The bell rings and off we go. Samuel McTavish with a knee kick, elbow kick, knee the speed of McTavish for a man his size is scary. And now looking for a jackknife. Powerbomb. Stiff, just dropping Abram down. And drops him on the back of his head. Drops him on his neck and Samuel McTavish is making this look easy so far and he's going to do it again. Abram's in a bad way already slamming his head into the mat. Is this going to be an easy more key win for McTavish? Disrespecting Abram there. Stomp. Second stomp. Third stomp. Fourth. Fifth stone by McTavish. But he went to the well too many times and Abram kicks him off. Kick. Slaps by Abram. Spin kick. But McTavish is still standing. Looking for the STO. Stomp to the arm. Working on the arm is Abram. Abram is not going to have the height and weight advantage in this one. He's got strength as Abraham with a snap suplex. McTavish catches that though. He was about to go running in, but Abraham put a stop to that. What is Abraham doing now? The strength of Abraham dropping him against the top rope. Kick by McTavish. Punch by McTavish. Grabs him from behind. Huge Gorin's German suplex. 
socks him in the face again, grabs him from behind again, and another huge gut range German suplex. The strength of McTavish. And another one, this is unbelievable. Ibram is a big guy, and he's getting thrown around like a ragdoll. Ibram trying to fight back and get back into this match. Would the fireman's carry the stone for Ibram, dropping him against the top rope. Ibram with a springboard cross body, but he completely missed. If anything, he only caught the foot of McTavish. Luckily, McTavish couldn't capitalize on that. And Abram looking in a figure four of some sort, working on the legs. It was not a submission, it was just an old stomp by Abram, kick by Abram, stomp by Abram again, another kick, went for the double foot stomp, McTavish is to his feet. Abram, look at the strength of Abram with a huge power slam into the pin. Kick out at two and a half by Samuel McTavish. And suddenly Abram's looking pretty good in this match. Misses with the headbutt does McTavish. Sling blade. Basement drop kick. Abram to the top rope. Went for the door. Foot stomp and miss. McTavish got out of the way. Single leg takedown. Martin strikes by McTavish. Stomps to the face. Cocky kick again. And back to the stomps. And Mick Tavish is back in control. Slamming his head into the mat again. Stomping away at the back. Kick to the face. Arm trapped behind the back. Got the other arm now as well. Pulling at the hand, the wrist, the fingers of Abraham and Samuel McTavish into the double knees. Kick by McTavish in complete control. Abraham with a knee. Needs to find something to get back into this match. Fireman's carried by Abraham. Really showcasing his strength in this match. Picking up the giant that is Samuel McTavish. How are you, Paul out of the corner? Elbow drop. Back to the arms goes Abram. Elbow by Abram. And Abram looking to end this match. What is he looking for? Looking for the full Nelson, the submission it is locked in, but I don't know how effective it is going to be against a man the size of Samuel McTavish. But he's trying for it. McTavish seems to be fighting free, and he does fight free. Single leg takedown again into the mountain strikes. Going back after the arm. These two trying to break each other's arms. At this point. And back to slamming his head in the mat. Nothing pretty. But it is effective. Kick by Abram. Kick by McTavish. This match continues. Punch by McTavish. Grabs Abram from behind. Inverted power slam. And I think the end is near for Abram in this match. Fights through with a back elbow. Irish whipped into the corner. Forearm in the corner. Stomp. McTavish is up. Punch. Punch again by Abram. Grabs him from behind. Back elbow by McTavish. Irish whips into the corner. McTavish fights out of the corner. Kick to the goal. Looking for D. Brainbuster. Into the pin. One. Two. Three.
free and another loss for Abram. Another win for McTavish. But a good showing by Abram in that match. McTavish is on an absolute tear right now. He's beating everyone. As you go to the replays, I will check on the live chat the best I can. And the winner of this match by Pinfall, Samuel McTavish. And here is Jackson Pitts. I don't think McTavish has seen him. Omega! Driver by Jackson Pitts. Super kick by Bates. Jackson Bates looking to get some revenge on McTavish. Another super kick. McTavish has been attacking Jackson Bates a lot recently after Jackson Bates has been picking up wins for him. Another super kick, a third super kick, and a statement made by Jackson Bates. Welcome, James Steele. Crappy work, Michael and Cam. I'll talk to you all bums after the show, says Samuel McTavish. Let's get into the next match. It's going to be Division versus Division action it is going to be z jordan of the no limits division versus the debuting jason wright of the king of vegas division i want to see both these men in the live chat and i want to see you want to win Zay Jordan is 1-1 one and one at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He lost to Tyson Adams in his debut, but he had a great showing in that match. Let's see how he does here. The following is a division versus division match. Making his way to the ring, first representing the No Limits division, Zay Jordan. Zay Jordan, very impressive in the ring, he is an eye flyer. Welcome Asia. Welcome Phoenix Productions. I'm trying to remember who Zay Jordan picked up his first win over. But the name is not coming to my head as of right now. I don't know if Zay Jordan can tell me in the live chat. Another guy who wouldn't last more than five minutes in that ring with me, says Philip Adams. Seems to be talking trash to everyone. And his opponent representing the king of Vegas division, making his skeg Vegas wrestling debut, Jason Wright. Not a lot known about this man. Let's see what he can do here. Representing the King of Vegas division. Oh, Zedron defeated Abram to pick up his first win. That was a big win for Zedron, defeating a former No Limits champion. 
Let's see if he can win a second match in a row here when he goes up against Jason Wright. So Zay Jordan already beat one member of the King of Vegas division. Can he beat another here? The bell rings and off we go. Kick, chop, punch, punch again. Another punch. Wright still standing. Fast strikes by Zay Jordan. Stunned against the ropes. Is Jason Wright and Zay Jordan waiting for Jason Wright to wake up? I don't know if that's a good strategy because he is away now in a double. Knees to the back, the back stabber into the pain. Kick out by Zay Jordan. And right into the submission. He's going locked in deep. Is Zay Jordan going to tap? Too early in the match. Zay Jordan fights three of the elbows. And now looking for a submission of his own. Got the arm. Is Jason Wright going to tap out? He's wrenching back. Fights through with a kick. Misses with a shot to the back. Into the fireman's carry. Carries him to the corner. I thought he was going to the corner. Instead dropped head first onto the top. Rope stomp. Kick. Springboard moonsault by Jason Wright. Into the pin. Ops against going for the pin. And instead decides to talk is trash. Stomp. Not the start. Zay Jordan one and misses with a super kick. It was bought by Jason Wright. Fights through with the elbows. Super kick. Into the court screw shooting star into the pen. One. Two. Kick out. At two and a half by Jason Wright. Misses with a spin kick does Zay Jordan. Only just to fight free. It's the reverse DDT. Pulls Jason Wright to his feet. Misses with that kick. Jason Wright ducks into the fireman's curry. Fights through the elbows again. Oh, and connects with a huge spin kick. And another kick by Zay Jordan. And he wants to see more out of Jason Wright. Turning to get to his feet. Went to grab him. Back elbow. What is this? What is this? Devastating maneuver by Jason Wright. Into the pin. Is that it? Kick out at two and a half by Z Jordan. To the corner was Jason Wright looking to end this match. Use knee into the fireman's curry. Into the TKO. Into the pin. Cocky cover. Cocky cover. Z Jordan only just kicks out at two and a half. Z Jordan's back to his feet. Another kick. Standing shooting star. Steps over him. Springboard. Moonsault to the back. Kicks. To the gut on a forearm. To the apron. Z Jordan. Springboard. 450 spots. Z Jordan's on fire right now. Springboard moves so out of the corner into the pen. One. Wow. Kick out one by Jason Wright. Z Jordan to the top rope. Elbow drop to the back. How good at high flying is Z Jordan into the pen. One. Two. Kick out at two and a half. By Jason Wright. Z Jordan proving to define no limits again in this match. Kick. Elbow. Backbreaker by Jason Wright. Looking for the deadlift military press. Holds him up there for quite some time. And drops him down. And Jason Wright taught in, in the corner. Z Jordan pulls him off the top rope. Oh, what a kick! What a kick by Z Jordan into the pin. One, two, the jumping calf kick. Kick out. 
Butcher and off by Jason Wright. And this match rages on. Punch. Punch by Jason Wright. Throwing hands, used knees, stunned in the corner. Jason Wright's busted open, I believe. Looks to be blood on his nose. But see Jordan on the top rope. Jordan trying to fight free. Punch to the back. Second punch to the back. Raining down the elbows to the head. Elbow after elbow. Don't do this. Avalanche. Invert Frankensteiner. Needs to go for the pin. Z Jordan is out. Oh, and a huge elbow or a forearm. Into the pin. Is that it now? It's got to be. Kick out at two and a half by Z Jordan. How is he hanging in here? Misses with a strike. Huge cosine. Knee. Cosine combination. That is it. Blunt force trauma. Into the pin. Huge upset. Kick out. At two and a half by Zay Jordan. Oh, what a great showing by Jason Wright in his debut. Zay Jordan's up. Slim blade. Into the basement drop kick. Into the standing shooting star, but he met the knees of Jason Wright. Striking away Z Jordan, but Jason Wright still standing. Strike after strike. Looking for the pivot kick out of the corner. Into the standing shooting star, into the pin. One. Two no kick out by Jason Wright. Uppercut by Wright. Spin kick by Z Jordan. Irish whipped into the ropes, bumped into each other. Kick, punch, uppercut, spin kick. Irish whipped into the corner again, looking for another Pilly kick out of the corner. Tells him to get to his feet. Double foot stomp! Is that it? Into the pin. One, two, kick out, two and off by Jason Wright. Pulls into his feet. Went for the kick to the gut. Reversal by right. Jumping heel kick. Takes the legs. Does Z Jordan. Kick to the gut. Looking for the double under. Brain. Buster into the pin. One. Two. Free and Z Jordan wins his second win in a row. What a great showing by Jason Wright in his debut though. As you go to the highlights, I will catch up on the live chat the best I can. Welcome Weeping and Gaming Girl. If you have not got your wrestling name as your YouTube name, please let us know who you are. And the winner of this match by Pinfall Zay Jordan. And here is the superior being Xavier. And what's he doing out here? We know these two have been talking trash to each other on Instagram. I don't think Z Jordan sees him standing behind him. Punch to the back. Snap me. Forearm. Kick to the gut. Tiger driver. Pulls him to his feet. 
Misses with a spinning back fist. Shot to, the, shot to the back. Kick to the goal. Come on, you oh, brain buster. By Zay Jordan. And the attackers backfired. But a superior being, Zavian. What a huge night for Zay Jordan. Welcome, Cameron Miller. Just defeated Jason Wright and just left. Xavier laid out. Catching up on the live chat the best that I can. Hope everyone got their revolution memory box. They were being given out as people entered the arena, says Duncan O'Reilly. Glory Driver is the name of that move. Let's get into the next match. It's going to be Wingman Division Action. It's going to be Revolution, Red and Tommy Cray. This is the number one contenders to the Under Spirit of Skeg Vegas Wrestling Wingman Championships. Eden, Fox Winters and Duncan O'Reilly. I want to see all four of these men. In the live chat, I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. And I hope, I hope the Undisputed Escape Vegas Wrestling Winman Champions, Vengeance of Vegas, have got eyes on this match. These two, Red and Tommy Cray, have not been getting on whatsoever. They recently faced Vengeance of Vegas. Tommy Cray got himself disqualified a few minutes into the match by attacking the referee. Let's get the live stream to 30 likes. If we haven't already. Fox Winters, a former No Limits champion. Duncan Riley, a former Undisputed King of Vegas champion. Longest reigning in promotion history. A former No Limits champion as well. Let's get into this match. Not on the same page, not even on the same book. Slim Pickens. I swear if he attacks the referee against his red. The following is a tag team match. In the wingman division. Making his way to the ring. First representing a revolution. Tommy. Cray. Interesting that these two. Are now coming out separately. Definitely not on the same page. On the same book. Whatever you want to call it. These two. Don't seem like they're a tag team anymore to me. And they haven't lasted very long as a tag team if this tag team does end. Tommy Cray is 2-6 and six at Skate Vegas Wrestling. Not had much success. Not really being dedicated enough to be successful at Skate Vegas Wrestling. This might be the end of Revolution. Might be the end of Tommy Cray's career. If Duncan Riley's got anything to say about it. Ice Cold says I've got eyes on this. Fox Winters says in memory of Revolution. I demand Red vs Tommy Loser Lee's SVW says Samuel McTavish. Could happen at Sanctum. Could happen at Skegness Sanctum that match. And his opponent representing, let me stop a minute, and his tag team partner representing Revolution Red. You would think these two are our opponents, so that's why I slipped up there. Red has a record of 7 wins and 11 losses on this brand. They are 1-1 one -on -one as a tag team. Defeated two souls to pick up their only win. And in their second tag team match against VOV, Tommy Cray decided to get himself disqualified. And their opponents, the team of... Fox, Winters, Duncan, Riley, Eden, 
Fox Winters is a former No Limits champion. He was revealed to be the first when Duncan Riley ripped his mask off him. Fox Winters has got a record of 20 wins and 4 losses on this brand. Duncan Riley is a former Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling King of Vegas champion. Longest reigning in promotion. History held that title for way over a year. He is also a former No Limits champion. These two are the number one contenders to the Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Winman Championships. They will face the Undisputed Winman Champions Vengeance of Vegas at Skeg Vegas Wrestling opening day for them championships. They have had two matches with each other so far. Them tag teams I just mentioned. It is 1-1. This is the third match. If Duncan wins this match, he'll be the first ever male Grand Slam champion at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Duncan Riley's got a record of 19 wins and two losses on this brand. They have a tag team record of three wins, one loss. going to be Fox Winters and Tommy Creator to start off and Fox tags in Duncan instantly Tommy Creator stares at Duncan misses with the head but there's Duncan Riley reverse twist of fate Duncan Riley came in too angry in my opinion and he made that mistake springboard back elbow missed and Duncan Riley calms himself now Huge big boot pulls Tommy Creator to his feet. This might be a quick one. Knee and grabs him from behind. Oh my word, what a throw! Mounted punches by Duncan Riley to Tommy Cray. This might be the most dominant Duncan Riley we have seen yet. And we've seen a dominant Duncan Riley in the Dark Mariah. The man who only lost once as that four misses with a stomp into the mounted strikes again. Biting at the fingers now is Duncan Riley. And Tommy Gray is getting absolutely obliterated. And after the arm, knee by Tommy Cray. Fights free. Jumping net breaker by Tommy Cray. And tags him red. These two know each other very well. Red and Duncan Riley. Kick to the gut. Forearm. Nice throw by red. Punches by red. Springboard. Sent on. Into the pin. Is that it? I know it will be it. Fox breaks it up. Kick by Duncan Riley. What is Tommy Cray doing? Going off the Fox Winters it seems. Duncan Riley throws him into the corner. And watches Tommy Cray. Back elbow. And another back elbow into the end of Gary. I don't think Duncan Riley's interested in Red. He's already beat Red. What's the beat Tommy Cray? And he's striking away at Red in front of Tommy Cray. And Duncan Riley challenging Tommy Cray to get in the ring. Tommy Cray, of course, does not answer. Back elbow by Red. Schoolboy super kick by Red. And Red tags in Tommy Cray. Tommy makes the mistake of lifting Duncan Riley to his feet. Grabs him. Puts him against the ropes. Got the hands, the arms. Tommy Cray looking for the springboard. Hurricane Rona. Very good in the ring Tommy Cray. But that's about it. Kicked off. Kick to the gut. Into the powerbomb position. And drop down with a powerbomb. Duncan opting 
Sandal this match on his own roundhouse kick to the head. Red wants the tag, but Tommy Craze in no shape or form to make the tag. Getting absolutely pummeled by Duncan Riley as of right now. Into the stolen suplex. And drops him down. Duncan Riley fired up. And just striking away at Tommy Cray's head. So he finally fights free, takes the legs. And he was looking to tag him red. But Duncan wouldn't allow that to happen. Went for the big boot. And Tommy Cray countered. Duncan Riley takes Red off the apron. Tommy Cray misses with a forearm. Irish whips into the apron. Irish whips into the ring. Duncan Riley misses with a bottom red. Chopped to red. And Red's back on the apron. Bit messy this. Jumping net breaker by Tommy Cray. And tags him red. Irish whipped into the corner. Chopping the corner. And challenging red to do something. But red's got no answer. Duncan sags in Fox Winters. Irish Wits into the corner. Kick to the leg. Puts the leg in the ropes. Running shoulder to the leg. Pulls him to his feet. Knee by Red. Into the pin. Not even a one. Red pulls him to his feet. Four on my fox. Irish whips into the corner. Fox winters into the rope. Huge four on. Red is rocked. Into the sit out cradle pile driver, and he hasn't done. Could have had him pinned there and then, but Irish whips him into the corner and tags in Duncan and Tommy Crazen as well. Duncan went for the running cause line and missed. Absolute anarchy in this match. Irish whips into the corner. Duncan Riley with a huge splash. Picks Tommy Cray to his feet. Looking for the forbidden. Failure and Tommy Cray fights free with a German suplex. What an upset this would be if Revolution can get the win. Very un unlikely. That kill ball ends a Gary by Duncan Riley. Red's taken off the apron. Tommy Cray getting to his feet. Looking for a turn here. It's Duncan Riley. He's locked in deep. Tommy Cray's got a tap. Oh, pass out and he has tapped out. Eternity and a job done for Eden. That's another loss for Evolution. Welcome, Coin Nitro.
As you go to the highlights, VOV is next, says Duncan Riley. Fox Hunter says, join, follow, believe. And the winners of this match, by submission, the team of Duncan Riley, Fox Winters, Eden. And next up, it is the core main event. It is going to be Matt Death. Versus Dylan Dalton in a division versus division match. The next undisputed wingman champions, Eden, says Duncan O'Reilly. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. This match was pre-recorded. We are going to get into it. Call main event time. This match came about after Dylan Dalton... Disrespect to Mac Death backstage. And Mac Death took offense to that and he called him out on Instagram. Mac Death has always had my respect. The legend beats the job of tonight, says Zay Jordan. Matt Death recently had his problems with V-Kid. Recently defeated Brody Reeves. Matt Death is a former two-time wingman champion. The following is a division versus division match. Making his way to the ring first. From Shire Green, Sheffield. Representing the king of Vegas division. Mac Death. I wonder if V-Kid has got eyes on this match. Let's get Matt Death's record up on this brand. He is 2 1 and 1. The feet of Brody Reeves and Al Walker drew against Shumatsu, lost to Al Walker. He is a former two time winman champion. He's got a record of 82 wins, one draw, and three losses in his entire career. He'll be looking for the Black Swans on Pom. He'll be looking for the Death View, the Death Driver, and the Beheading. Matt Death seems to be the fan favourite for this match. I've only seen one vote for Dylan Dalton, and that was by Cohen Nitro. This might be the end of Dylan Dalton right here. This man is 0 and 5. And his opponent, representing the No Limits division, from the Caravan Pox, the Gypsy Kid, Dylan Dalton. Welcome, Justin Murray. Great seeing you watching. This man is 0 and 5 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And I think he's about to go 0 and 6. And I think this could possibly be his last match at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. The bell rings. And off we go. Spear to start off by Mac Death. Forearm by Mac Death. Knee by Mac Death. Dylan Dalton getting back to his feet or misses with a forearm. Does Mac Death? Mac Death too strong. Pushes Dylan Dalton off and it's the forearm. 
Pulls Dylan Dalton to his feet. Short arm close line. Another short arm close line by Matt Death. This might be a quick one. Huge punch. Punch. Dylan Dalton fighting back with a forearm of his own. And striking away is Dylan Dalton stunned against the ropes is Matt Death. Dylan Dalton biting at the face of Matt Death. Springboard forearm missed. Went for the net breaker. Shoved off by Matt Death. Punch. Forearm. Punch. Back elbow. Clubbing blow knee. Clubbing blow knee again. Looking to snap the fingers of Dylan Dalton. A huge clothesline. New jip toss. Dylan Dalton's in a bad way now. Headlock takedown. And snaps the fingers again. Ed Butt into the back suplex. Mounted punches by Matt Death to Dylan Dalton. Dylan Dalton with a kneeling jawbreaker. Right to the eyes, punch, but Matt Death is still standing. Finally takes him down, punching away at Matt Death. But Matt Death is up, didn't stay down long. Raking at the eyes again is Dylan Dalton doing everything he can to keep Matt Death down. Stumped to the leg. Kicked off by Matt Death. Huge Doomsday Saido. Into the mounted punches again. And again. This is your core main event. Choking him into the mat now. Kick by Dylan Dalton. Kick to the back. Pulls him to his feet. Kick to the gut by Matt Death. Dylan Dalton. Pedigree by Dylan Dalton. What an upset this would be. Matt Death with a forearm. Matt Death with a spear. Grounded punches. Striking away at a gypsy kid. Tells the fans to shush into the net breaker. Into the punches again. Oh my god. And Dylan Dalton's busted open, but he's seeing ready. He takes the leg of Matt Death. Irish whipped into the ropes. Oh, what a strike! I'm at death. Uh oh. This is bad for Dylan Dalton. What does Matt Death have in mind? Dragging his body into the Matt Death punches, just punching away at Dylan Dalton's skull. We've seen Matt Death end careers with these punches. Went for it a second time, but Dalton fights free. Went for the net breaker again. Shoved off by Matt Death into the spear. Just end it already. This kid is beat. Into the Mac Death punches again and punching away at the skull of Dylan Dalton. And a second time.
And this is with a stomp. And Dalton grabbed him. Back elbows by Matt Death. I'm surprised Dylan Dalton's hung in for so long. Irish rips into the corner. Dylan Dalton fights out of the corner. Irish whips into the other corner. Fights out of the corner again. Dylan Dalton proving all to catch for Matt Death. Huge backbreaker. Irish whipped into the corner. Puts him on the top rope. Punch. We haven't seen this for a while. Matt Death looking for D. Death you, but Dylan Dalton fights free with the Eric Rana. This kid might have a future yet. Punch by Dylan Dalton. Kick to the gut by Matt Death. Uh oh. Uh oh. Death! Driver! That's it. One, two, three. As you go to the highlights. And the winner of this match by Pinfall, Mac Death, and I don't think he's done with Dylan Dalton. Really wants to teach this kid a lesson. Irish whips him into the ring. We've seen Matt Death do this in the past. And maybe he's sending a message to V-Kid while doing this as well. The Matt Death punches. Oh, Matt Death to Dylan Dalton. Maybe looking to end this kid's career here. Just punch after punch, a brutal assault. That's three. Three times in a row now. It's already dead, leave him alone. Fourth. Fifth. Sick, how many more is he gonna do? This is getting hard to watch. And a seven barrage of strikes. Pulls him to his feet. Into the beheading! Dylan Nolan has passed out! He is passed out! You statement made by my death! And I think we are seeing the Mac Death of old. That is the old Mac Death. The violent. No crap given Mac Death. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to check the live chat the best I can. I need to call a friend a best friend, says V-Kid.
McDeff is evil, a destroyer. I am a career, says Duncan Riley. And now it is time for the main event. It is going to be a number one contenders match for the Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Queen of Vegas Championship. The winner will face the Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Queen of Vegas Champion, Adrian Lachey at Skeg Vegas Wrestling Opening Day. It's going to be Donna Danger versus Reynolds. I want to see both of these women in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win and who you think is going to win. The ring is going to break, says Philip Adams. Everything happens for a reason. JFB says Tyson Adams. Donna Danger last week had a shot at the Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Queen of Vegas Championship against Adrian Lachey. It was going well. She was dominating Lachey, but whatever she did, she wasn't able to beat Lachey. She then got frustrated, went to the outside, grabbed the baseball bat, and it is on the share with it. Raynaud hasn't been seen for a while. She's a former Queen of Vegas champion. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the last time we saw Raynaud was against Adrian Lachey for the Queen of Vegas championship. Only I defended my title already, so opening day is definitely not happening. Oh, it is Adrian Lachey. It will happen with or without you. You can either vacate your championship. Or defend it. It's up to you. I'm not an eater. A free to watch pay per view should have all the championships on the line. That's how it is. That's how it should be. If you don't want to defend your championship, you can vacate it. You seem to be scared of Donna Danger. To me. And Donna Danger, she, she took her first loss last week. It was by disqualification. She is yet to be pinned or submitted. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling main event and is a number one contenders match for the undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Queen of Vegas Championship. Making her way to the ring first from Ports Unknown. Donna Danger! And the danger is 2 and 1 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Honestly, she might be the most dominant female we have ever seen at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. She beat two women at once in Alejandra Gonzalez and Sam Rivera. Is she going to make it to Skeg Vegas Wrestling opening day to face Adrian Lachey again? For the Undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Queen of Vegas Championship. A lot on the line in this match. And her opponent, Reynolds. Reynolds is a former Queen of Vegas Champion herself. She's got a record of seven wins and seven losses on this brand. Two absolute animals going to go out of here. Two of the most terrifying females we have seen at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Reynolds was all nice until she snapped and became whatever she is now. Donna Danger's just been scary from the off. This is a dream match, in my opinion. These two are going to go at it. And there is so much on the line because the winner gets to be at Skeg Vegas Wrestling opening day and gets a shot at the undisputed Skeg Vegas Wrestling Queen of Vegas Championship. The bell rings and off we go. Donna Danger came running in. Raynaud managed to duck out of the way. Pushed off again. Ducks again. Punched by Donna Danger. Single leg takedown. By Donna Danger. Pulls Reynolds to a feet. Oh my word. Huge attack as we often see by Donna Danger. Reynolds with a kneeling jawbreaker. This 
is going to be a tough task for Donna Danger. And she is blocked again by Raynaud. Raynaud coming with a strategy against Donna Danger, blocking these running attacks. Elbow to the back. Second elbow to the back and down goes Donna Danger. She's had a lot of matches recently, Donna Danger. Fatigue might play a factor in this match because she is a big woman. You've got to think her stamina isn't that good. Forearm. Raynor is relatively fresh. The ring rush might play a factor. Huge knee by Donna Danger. Grabs her again, flips her over, knee again by Donna Danger. Punch, second punch, throat thrust, punch, punch, punch. How is Raynaud still standing? It's not going to be standing long. Oh my god! What a splash! In the corner and into the Mac Death punches. Goes Donna Danger. I wonder who she learned them from. We just saw how devastating they were on Dylan Dalton probably ending his career here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Renault fights three, stomp to the arm. You don't want to taunt it against someone the size of Donna Danger, Renault. Punch, forearm, kick to the gut, DDT by Renault. Renault to the top rope, looking to fly. Oh, what a frog splash! Devastating frog splash, stomp to the arm. Into the submission, she has the arm. It is locked up. Is Donna Danger going to tap out for the first time in her career? Manages to fight free. Oh, and what a knee by Donna Danger. And Donna Danger into the bear hug. It is locked in. Reynolds going to tap or pass out here. He is cinched in deep. Renault fights through with the elbow, second elbow, and a bell clap. Was looking for the blue thunder bomb, was Renault. Forearm. Done the danger. Fighting through with the back elbows. Kick to the gut. Into the power bomb position. What does Donna Danger have in mind? Don't do this. Oh my God! Just power bombed her to the outside. And Donna Danger to the outside now as well. Kick to the gut. We've seen Donna Danger do this a lot. She's a master of the power bombs. Apron power bomb. And just flung her into the apron. Absolutely devastating. The ref might want to put a stop to this match before Reynolds injured, but Reynolds with a back body drop. The strength of Reynolds to do that. Unbelievable. Irish whips her into the ring. Don't the danger's down, but not out. Rolls and gets back to her feet. Forearm by Reynolds. Don't the danger's still standing. Takes down the legs. Raynaud to the top rope again. This might be wise by Raynaud. Elbow dropped to the back of Donna Danger. Fighting fire with fire. And Raynaud, I don't know what she's doing. She was possessed. Now goes for the pin. Kick out of one by Donna Danger. Raynaud's. Making Donna Danger look normal. By fighting fire with fire. This is what you get. This main event match. Dropped down face first. Irish whipped onto the apron. Donna Danger with a shoulder tackle. And to the outside. 
Kick to the gut. Not looking for another power bomb, is she? She is. She is. Apron. Oh, God. I said apron. I meant barricade. Barricade power bomb. I done a danger to Reyna unless they're back up in the power bomb position again and takes her towards the ring post. Reyna fighting free with everything she's got. Donna Danger with a throat slash. Reyna saying get in the ring. Donna Danger don't want to get in the ring. She wants to fight on the outside. And she's threatening Reyna. Reyna to the outside now as well. Misses with a slap. Kick to the gut. Into the powerbomb position yet again. Oh god, and powerbombed into the ring pose. And powerbomb down on the outside mat. And she's not done. Irish whips her into the barricade. Misses with a clothesline. Shot to the gut. I'll be careful not to get counted out, these two. Throws her head first into the barricade. Irish whips her into the barricade again. And throws her head first into the barricade again. And he's done a danger. Going to win this by count out. She's back in the ring. Reynolds trying to get back to her feet. Count at seven. Reynaud is back in the ring now. Punch. Looking for the sleep road. It is locked in. Is Donna Danger going to tap out? Is she going to tap out? It is cinched in deep. Donna Danger's got nowhere to go. She's nowhere near the rope. She's center of the ring. Ed Bott fights free. Irish whipped into the corner. No, surely she can't. Surely she can't. Pounce by Reno. The strength of Reno. Pounced on a danger against. Went flying across the ring into the pinky cow with a last time breath by Donna Danger. So damn freaking close. Reno to the middle rope. Telling Donna Danger to get to her feet. Spear missed. She missed. Got the positioning wrong. The strength of Reno with a scoop slam. And telling Donna Danger to get to her feet. Into the sleep road again. Sits back with it. He's locked in. He's done a danger. Going to tap out for the first time in her career. He's Reno. Going to go to opening day to face Adrian Lachey again for the Undisputed Queen of Vegas Championship. Fights free with the headbutt again. Went to grab her and missed. She's hurt on the danger. She might be hurt for the first time in her career. Apron. Back suplex. And Reno is fired up. Having a match of her life right now. Takes the legs. Oh my god. And just like that, she gets hit by a train for a second time in a row now. Went for a third and Reynolds takes the leg, but only to her knee. Went down a danger, misses with a strike, grabs her, head first into the turnbuckle. Can Reynolds get her up for this? She's going to attempt it. Look at the strength of Reynolds with the hanging dragon sleeper. Stomp. Kick. Stomp. Didn't connect. Reynolds howling and growling. Into the pain. Is that it? Huge upset. Here. Kick out. And the last time breath by Donna Danger again. 
and we're not saying she's going to end it. What will it take to end Donna Danger? Uh oh, she grabbed her and slams her into the mat. And she's not done yet. Irish whips her into the rope. Oh, she's got it cinched in. She left the tap. She left the tap. She left the tap out. How is Reno hanging in there? How is she doing this? The claw. And Reno fights through the gut punches. Irish whips into the corner. We're not looking for the hanging. Dragon sleeper again. Look at the strength of Reno. Into the pin again. That is it. Kick out at two and off by Donna Danger. What is it going to take to win this match? Firewoman's carry. Into the backpack. Stunner. Just tossed Reno across the ring and now looking to end her slams her into the mat into the pin one two front how did she kick out how did Reno kick out unbelievable I thought that was it. The fans thought that was it. Donna Danger thought that was it. Adrian Lachey sat at home. Thought that was it. I'm just assuming she's at home. She might not be at home. She might be backstage watching this match go down like us. And Donna Danger's just absolutely snapped. Not a danger, a big move after big move right now. Running power slam. Oh God. Oh God. To the top. Rogue goes down a danger huge. Splash Reno. He's going to be after, picked up off the, off the mat after this. Elbow drop. And now surely this is going to be it. Kick to the gut by Reno. Forearm. Send Ed first into the turnbuckle. Into the hanging dragon sleeper again by Reno. Uh oh, Donna Danger is up. Misses with a forearm. Into the submission goes Reno. It is locked in deep. She's gonna have to tap out here, Donna Danger. It is cinched in. It is cinched in deep. How is she hanging in there? How is she hanging in there? Oh my word, what a match. What a match. And Donna Danger fights through with the headbutt. What an absolute war between these two women. Running power slam. Looking for the stalling. Suplex. This match has got to be coming to an end sooner rather than later, but somehow... Reynolds is still getting to her feet. Choke slam by Donna Danger. Kick. Didn't get all of it. Attacking the arm. Stomp. Into the stolen suplex again. This match rages on. This main event rages on. Couple of stomps. Reynolds gets caught and tossed.
and thrown over her shoulder. And now, surely this must be it. Looking for it one more time. Slams her into the mat, into the pin. One, two, three. Donna Danger is going to opening day and will face the undisputed skeg Vegas wrestling queen, a Vegas champion. Adrian Lachey for the undisputed skeg Vegas wrestling queen of Vegas championship. Checking the live chat the best I can. And the winner of this match. Donna. Danger. The next show is Wednesday at 6pm UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. If you are watching this live stream, please drop a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell, select all. It will let you know whenever I go live. If you're watching this show after, when it gets uploaded, please drop a like, please leave a comment. If you're watching this live when it gets uploaded, please watch for at least two minutes. Leave a like, leave a comment. Follow me on Instagram at Skeg Vegas Wrestling, Twitter at S Vegas Wrestling, Facebook Skeg Vegas Wrestling Spotlight will happen later tonight where you can vote for your favourite match from this show. On Instagram at Skig Vegas Wrestling, I'm checking the live chat the best I can. I can assure you, Matt Death and Donna Danger are not dating Z Jordan. She's not my type. Thank you, Philip Adams. Thank you, Regal. Thank you, Zay Jordan. Thank you, Michael Mayer Matthews. Sanctum seems perfect for me to destroy. Tommy says red. Thank you, Coin Nitro. Thank you, Alexis Nova. Thank you, Sir William Kingdom. Thank you, Brody Reed. Thank you, VIP. Thank you, Red. Thank you, Freddie Fox. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.